now let's see what the term digital sum means okay digital sum is suppose i'm having a number say one six seven three digital sum or digital root of this number is actually the addition of all the digits it will be one plus six plus seven plus three so it is seven plus three ten plus six sixteen and one seventeen further 1 plus 7, 8. So 8 is the digital root or you can say digital sum of 1, 6, 7, 3. So this concept is actually uh, very useful in the competitive examinations when you wish to eliminate the options. What happens friends, uh, whatever the calculation you have been given, suppose you are given 13 plus 14 and if it is 27. The digital root of left hand side is always equal to the digital root of right hand side. You know the left hand side you know the digital root of left hand side then you can choose the option which match to the digital root of uh, this expression here let's uh, match uh, 1 plus 3 it is 4 and 4 plus uh, 1 it is 5 so the digital root of uh, lhs yeah that is left hand side is 9 and similarly the digital root of right hand side is also 9 that is 2 plus 7 so it matches okay let's take more examples Suppose I am having a multiplication that is 13 into 14. Exactly 13 into 14 is 182. Let's uh, match the digital root. 1 plus 3 is 4 into 4 plus 1 is 5. If there is a multiplication sign over here, we'll be multiplying the same, uh, the digital roots. And if it is addition sign over here, we'll be adding the digital roots. Okay, so it's 4 into 5, 20. And the final digital root is 2. Now let's see what uh, what's there uh, in 182. It's 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. Uh, 11, that is 1 plus 1. Further, we are getting 2. So we see the digital root of both the side is same. Uh, one more uh, uh, help is there. See, in this case, we are getting 1 plus 8, that is 9. Whatever you are uh, adding in 9, uh, you'll be getting the same number once again. So further, no need to add 9 while you are finding the digital root. In this case, suppose I'm not adding 9, that is 1 plus 8, if I'm not adding uh, 9, so I'll be still getting 2. So the, the digital root of the number which is containing 9 can be uh, found uh, by deducting even 9 also. Suppose I'm having 92, the digital root will be Two only you know don't have to add 9 plus 2 uh, then it is 11 then 1 plus 1 it is 2 okay suppose I am having 375 then digital root will be 7 plus 5 12 and 3 15 that is 6 okay friends and you you can even skip nines as in this example 4 5 7 3 2 7 I deduct 9 I deduct 9 what I am getting is 10 that is further one more than nine. So the digital root of this that is four five seven three two seven is one. It's as simple as that. Okay, we'll be using this concept in uh, multiple choice questions. Okay, let's do one or two more examples. Now let's see this example. Uh, in this case, we have to find three sixty into seventeen. So let's find the digital root first of all. Three sixty is actually nine into 7 plus 1 that is 8 if anything is multiplied by 8 uh, uh, if anything is multiplied by 9 the digital root of the product will be 9 only since 9 into 8 72 the digital root will be 9 only so we just have to check from the options uh, where the digital root is 9 in this case 5 6 7 8 it cannot be the right choice here 5 6 7 8 9 10 even it cannot be the right choice here 6 7 8 9 this can be the right choice but let's check the another option also maybe there are two nines then we have to go for uh, one more step so in this case 6 7 8 9 10 so still it is not the right choice so we are left with 6 1 2 0 none of the options is having 9 as the digital root except 6120. So the correct answer to the problem is 6120. So uh, we can do the problems quickly. We can eliminate the options quickly if we are clear about the concept. We'll be applying the same concept while calculating the bigger numbers. As such, these sort of small problems can be done uh, even without uh, paperwork and so on. Right? 
ओके लेट्स डू नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम